There is no denying that using bad photography is a sure way to make your website look bad. Well, the good news is even if you're on a tight budget, you can find and use really great and compelling imagery. Let's go over how. Hi, I'm Allie, and I help emerging entrepreneurs get their businesses up and running online with a standout brand and website. But the thing is, if you're using any of those really cheesy stock photos or low quality images, your website is sure to stand out, but in a bad way, and you don't want that. If you have images from a professional photo shoot, that would obviously be the best option. But if you don't, no worries. There is a stock photo for almost any theme or subject that you can imagine putting into the search bar. So you just need to go and find them and you can find so many free or paid for. And then as your business grows and you're able to pay for professional photography, you can swap them out at that time. So let's start with free images. First, you should know that you can't simply go into Google and do an image search and then download the image because those images are usually under copyright and you could be sued for using them. So that is not the right approach at all to finding images to use for your business. There are some really great websites though where you can find free photographs that don't have copyright restrictions. A great one is unsplash.com. Another one is pixabay.com. And then another one that I'll mention is pexels.com. If you don't find a specific image you need for free, you may want to pay for an image iStockphoto.com, Shutterstock.com, and GettyImages.com are really great sources for going this route. But keep in mind that photo licensing as you select your images is different on these sites. Most likely you'll want a royalty-free license. This one allows you to use an image in multiple ways, but at the same time, just pay a flat one-time fee. A rights managed license, on the other hand, only gives you specific limited per use rights to that specific image. So it's much more limited. When you're looking for stock photos, you want to look for ones that give an authentic feel. There are so many that just really look fake and set up and you want to avoid those because people can see that and it will just make them lose trust in you. So you want to look for scenes that look like they could actually happen that are more casual and where the people maybe aren't looking so perfect. Another thing to look for when you're selecting images is that they have the same tone and style. So let's say you're looking for the images to use on the hero banner of your web pages or the top big image at the top of the pages and you find a bunch but some are really punchy and bright in color some are more muted and neutral in color and then you have a black and white one well that would really look disjointed as someone's clicking through your site and it would be obvious or more obvious at least that they're stock images so you want to look for a set that goes together stylistically and one that communicates the feelings that you'd like to evoke from your brand as your potential client is viewing it. And if you're wondering, how do I know what feelings I want my potential clients to feel? Then click the video that's on your screen right now where I go over what is brand personality and how to find yours. And if you haven't subscribed yet, click subscribe and the notification bell so you don't miss any of the upcoming videos. Now let's go get them.